It is time now for better money and estate planning can certainly be confusing. There are mistakes you want to avoid. Eric Hogarth is a certified financial planner and partner at Johnson Brunetti Retirement and Investment Specialties. He's here now to help. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So uh, there's a lot of things and a lot of people do not want to talk about this, number one. So that's part of it is we kind of have to have some time where we at least talk about uh, what's going to happen when we're no longer here. Yeah, it's not fun to talk about dying, but it's important. I mean, and a lot of people over half of retirees don't have a will or you have a will that's so old that you got it when your kids were born and now your grandparents and I know you want to think about living forever but you need to plan if you don't yeah and number one so here's some simple things that people need to do don't forget to designate beneficiaries you have money and they need to know who to give it to people think about well do I need a trust and that costs a lot of money just slow down start with a beneficiary that costs no money no money like you look at your bank account Do you have a transfer on death on it most people don't you should. How and do you do that? Free. Call them up and say, I need a just transfer on death? Just go to the bank and say, I want to list the beneficiary or transfer on death on it. And it's just, it just makes life easier. It costs nothing. Yeah. And it makes a huge difference on taxes. I mean, I, we've seen scenarios where someone has died and their family member had not designated that. Now the money's locked up for like three months. And it's, well, how do we pay for a funeral? Versus a little piece of paper would have avoided that. It would have fixed everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, understand your estate plan. Hope best case scenario, plan and prepare worst case scenario. I like when people make the jokes about bouncing the check to the funeral home. No offense if you own a funeral home or, you know, spending my last dollar on my last day. But if it doesn't go that way, this is everything you have ever saved. Have a plan for where you want it to go. And I said understand it, but if it starts with even reading and adjusting that plan annually, you want people to sit down and look at it. Things change. Maybe yeah. you get to a point where it's like, you know what, my kids are doing well. What about my grandkids? I think it's going to cost a million dollars a year for college. You know, maybe you adjust it, but you should certainly talk about it annually. Okay. And you want to talk with your family about your estate plan. Now, this is something else that sometimes people mm. are uncomfortable asking about. And, you know, uh, you, in the movies, they don't get the will until after everyone's dead. But you think everyone needs to talk about the plan. I think everyone's situation is different. I think it is wise for some people to be guarded on that information. But you certainly don't want people rushing around saying, well, did they have any money when they, not about inheritance, but just about mistakes that are made if people are left in the dark trying to figure it out after someone's gone. Okay. And if you want some help doing this, you have a free offer. It's the greatest gift and it outlines your wishes with a state plan. Uh, so we can send this to you for free. Go to bettermoneytv.com and you'll send it to everyone for free. And I think it gives you a lot of peace of mind just to have the conversation with your significant other. Start there. Yes. A plan helps. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you. That's better money.